good evening everyone in the last class we have started our discussion related to what is a docker why we need to go for a docker and what is the docker architecture so before going to start the today's topic let's quickly revise what we discussed docker is a platform docker is a platform which is used to run the applications easily in any computer in order to run the application only code is not sufficient we need to have the platform also to run our application if we have only code with that code you cannot run your application along with the code you need to have the platform also to run your application preparing that platform in multiple machines is a difficult task so that is the reason that is the reason we are going to use docker is to prepare that platform so docker is going to package our application docker is going to package our application code and application dependencies as a image once the docker image is ready then we can run that docker image in any computer that will create a container that is called docker container docker container will execute our application application dependencies right fine now so with this we understood what is docker and why we need to go for docker so let us understand how to set up the docker in our machines okay guys let's understand how to set up the docker in the linux virtual machine so here i'm going to use aws ec2 instance to set up the docker software to work with the docker we need to install you can install the docker on the windows as well as on the linux also i'm going to install the docker on the linux machine let me go to my aws account i am launching one ec2 instance i will name that instance as docker server currently i'm taking amazon linux amazon linux i'm taking t2 micro number of instances one default storage 8 gb tag i'm giving the name as docker server that means this is the machine which i am going to use <coughs> this is the machine which i am going to use to install docker software security group i'm using my existing security group i'm going to launch my application key pair i'm using linux key pair click on launch instance my instance is getting started in the aws cloud aws ec2 instance i have selected now i am going to i'm going to connect with this ec2 instance by using mobile xtrm and i will install the docker so to practice this docker commands to work with the docker first we need to set up the docker software in the machine i am using a linux virtual machine in the aws cloud in that i am going to set up the docker so connect to this ec2 instance by using mobile xtrm i'm going to connect with the ec2 instance by using mobile xtrm software ssh connection i'm going to use remote host username i will specify the username as ec2 user ssh settings private key i will use the private key and i will connect with my machine okay i'm able to connect with this machine after connecting that let's do yum update it is a package manager i'm going to update all the existing packages in this machine as i'm using amazon linux i will use yum as a package manager to install softwares okay guys i'm using m as a package manager to install all these softwares perfect yes i have updated this now how to install the docker to install the docker we are having some commands so i have already updated the existing packages so sudo m update i have already done the update then after to install the docker i will use sudo m install docker 
Docker software I'm going to install. Docker software I'm going to install. It will take some time. It will take some time. I will give these notes, guys. By following these notes, you can also install that software. Docker got installed. Then start the Docker software by using service sudo service docker start. I'm trying to start the Docker. Docker is started. Docker is started. So once this Docker started, we are going to perform the Docker operations, right? So for that, this EC2 user should be added to Docker group. So in the Linux classes, we discussed how to add the user to the group. So I'm adding EC2 user to Docker group because we are going to execute some Docker commands. So EC2 user should have permissions for that. That is the reason EC2 user is added to Docker group. Once it is done, we can execute Docker info command. So when I execute Docker info, I'm getting permission denied because currently I connected with EC2 user. Just now I have added EC2 user to Docker. So let's do one thing. Let's restart this terminal. I have stopped it. Now let's connect back. Let's connect back. So restart this. After this, we can go for Docker info. Now we are able to see getting the status of the Docker. I'm able to get the status of the Docker. Docker info, when I execute this Docker info, we are able to see that Docker information we are getting. First time when I execute the Docker info, I got permission denied. After that, I have restarted my machine, restart the session. I mean, not machine, a session. In the terminal, I have just exited and I connected back. Okay, I have restarted my session. So these are the commands we are going to use to install the Docker and to check the Docker is installed properly or not. sudo m update iPhone y sudo m update iPhone y it is used to update the existing packages in our machine. sudo m install Docker. It is used to install the Docker software in the Linux machine using m package manager. Once that got installed, sudo service docker start. It is used to start the docker service in our Linux machine. Once it is started, to execute all these docker commands from the EC2 user account, I am adding EC2 user to docker group by using user mode command. Once the EC2 user added to docker group, from EC2 user account itself, we can execute the docker commands. If you don't Add the EC2 user to the Docker group. You can't execute the Docker commands from the EC2 user account. When we launch EC2 instance, by default, EC2 user account is created. From that user account only, I want to operate the Docker software. I want to perform the Docker commands execution from here only. For that reason, I have added EC2 user to Docker group. After that, I have restarted my machine. Then I'm able to execute the Docker info. I'm getting the Docker details. Once that information we are able to do, we can execute some of the Docker commands and we can see the Docker is really working or not. So before going to understand that, we can see we can see that. So this is the Docker installation part. This is the Docker installation part that I have done. OK, this is our running nodes. I have done Docker installation. Got it. You know already how the Docker is going to execute. What is the Docker architecture, guys? What is the Docker architecture? Docker file will be available. Using the Docker file, we are going to build a Docker image. And using that image, we can create a container to run the application. So here, Docker file, Docker image, Docker file, Docker image, and a Docker container. So what is a Docker file? Docker file, it contains, it contains a set of instructions to create or build a Docker image, right? So we need to create one Docker image for our application code and our application dependencies.
so application code will be developed by developers but what are the dependencies required for our application what are the softwares required to run our application those details we are going to configure in the docker file docker file contains set of instructions to create or build docker image docker image is a package which contains application code and application dependencies what is docker image docker image is a package which contains application code plus application dependencies docker image is a package which contains application code and application dependencies what is the docker container runtime instance when we run the docker image when we run docker image it will create docker container to execute our application docker container to execute our application okay so here what will happen we are going to write a docker file for our application we will build docker image from the docker file when we run that docker image then docker container is going to create docker file by using the docker file we will build docker image when we run the docker image then docker container will be created our application will be there in the docker image but where that is going where it is going to execute it is going to execute in the container it is going to execute in the container are you clear with my points are you clear with my point how to install the docker in the linux vm in this course i am going to use docker from linux only because we are a devops engineers we are going to set up our infrastructure on the linux machines only clear for all of you docker architecture now docker commands so docker basic commands we need to understand docker basic commands we need to understand docker basic commands so first we executed a command called docker info what is the purpose of docker info command guys to check the information about the docker to check the information about the docker now currently we can check what are the images available i'm executing docker images so in my machine currently any docker image available or a docker image not available currently docker image is available currently in my machine docker image not available in my machine currently docker images are not available how i am checking docker images are available are not available by using which command by using docker docker images docker images command now we can check we can check what are the containers running in our application in the in the in the machine what are the docker containers are running what are the containers available which command we will use to see the docker containers docker ps command we will use to see the containers which are running in our machine docker images command will display the docker images which we have in our machine okay docker info will display the information about the docker software that we have installed in our machine docker info to display the information about the docker docker images which are used to that command will display the images which are available in our machine docker ps command will display the docker containers which we have in our machine currently do i have any images currently do i have any images in my machine no do i have any containers in my machine no i don't have any images i don't have any containers in my machine if i want to create a image what is required docker file is required so if i have a docker file based on the docker file i can create a docker image if i have the docker image then i can run the docker image 
when i run the docker image then docker container is going to create when i run the docker image docker container is going to create okay fine currently i don't have any images but do we know how to write the docker file at this moment we are new to docker we don't know how to write the docker file also then we need to understand one small point here what is docker hub what is a docker hub docker hub is a centralized repository where we can store docker images it is a it is a centralized repository where we can store and retrieve docker images what is docker hub docker hub is a centralized repository where we can store and retrieve docker we can retrieve the store images from the docker hub we can store the images from the we can store the images into docker hub and we can retrieve the images from the docker hub okay docker hub is a centralized location which contains docker images okay now let us see what is this docker hub let us go to docker hub now google docker hub docker hub hub.docker.com so what is the url hub.docker.com so here this is the url for docker hub so this is a cloud repository this is a cloud repository where we can store our images and from where we can retrieve the images so you need to have one account to store your images into docker hub guys so click on sign in if you don't if you already have your account you can log in into your account if you don't have your account you can create your account here in the docker hub now you see i have already stored so many images in the docker hub so see here 8 months ago i stored one spring boot rest api image 50000 people downloaded my image 50000 people downloaded my image so i have created one image using a docker file i have stored my image into my docker hub account so docker hub is a centralized repository where you can store the images from where you can download the images are you guys able to understand what is docker hub now docker hub is a centralized repository where we can store and retrieve docker images so this is a centralized repository there are some images which are public that means anybody can download those images those some images are private private images we can't download only that account holder can download public images everybody can access okay so can you guys quickly create the account in the docker hub i will wait for 2 minutes can you guys create account in the docker hub quickly can you guys create the account in the docker hub quickly all of you creating the account all of you able to create the account in the docker hub it is free of cost it is free of cost can you create the account in the docker hub harita please join here you will get the course content please join here you will get the course content i gave you a link in the chat box please join there you will get the course content all of you able to create the account all of you able to create the account in docker hub it's required guys we are going to create several images and we are going to store the images into docker hub
okay fine i'm able to log in into my docker hub account from the browser okay guys fine so from here also you can log in docker login it is asking user id it is asking password it is asking password error i forgot my password huh? one second guys let me check my password yeah i got my password so here i'm trying to log into docker from my mobile xtrm cli docker login my username my password password now you see i'm able to log in into my docker hub account successfully so i created a docker i created a docker hub account then i created one virtual machine in the linux in this virtual machine i installed the docker and i am able to connect to my docker hub account from this linux machine that's fine now let us do docker images command i mean docker images command still i don't have any image in my local currently no images are available in my local docker ps no containers also available in my machine okay now in order to download a image from docker hub we will execute a command called docker pull command and image name which image you want to download that image name you can give for the pull command then docker is going to download the image from docker hub to your local so to download a docker image we are going to use a command called docker pull command docker pull command docker pull image name docker pull image name it is going to pull docker image once you pull the docker image then you need to run the docker image docker run image name run means executing whenever you run the image container will be created currently we don't know how to write the docker file that's why we are using predefined docker images which are already available in the docker hub there are several docker images already available so i want to use those docker images and i want to execute it okay docker pull docker run whenever you use docker pull it is going to download docker image how to check the existing docker images by using docker images command you can check the existing docker images currently i don't have any images here i already shown multiple times docker images no images are available now i am going to use docker pull one image called hello world what is the image i am using hello world that is the name of the image so when i use docker pull hello world you see it is pulling the image it is pulling the image from docker hub hello world is a public image which is available for everybody so you can pull that hello world docker image by using docker pull command after pulling that let us execute a docker images command now you see i'm able to pull the docker image the image name is hello world the image id is also available the image tag is latest so you understand how to download a docker image by using docker pull command you can download the image how to see all the images which are available in our system by using docker images command for example if i want to delete the image then docker rmi image name image name or image id hello world okay now after doing this let's execute docker images again all the images are empty nothing i have i am able to pull the image 
I'm able to see what all the images available and I'm able to pull the image image name. If you want to delete the image Docker RMI image name. If you give Docker RMI image name that image will be deleted that image will be deleted. If you want that image again, then you need to use Docker pull image name. Hello world. Hello world. Now see it is going to download that image. It is going to download that image pull completed. Once the Docker image is downloaded verify Docker images. Yes, I got that image. So image nothing but what guys? What is a Docker image? What will be there in the Docker image? Image means what? What will be there in the Docker image? Application will be there. Application dependencies also will be there. How to create the Docker image? What is required to create the Docker image? Docker file is required. So if you want to create your own image, then you need to create a Docker file. Based on the Docker file, you can create the Docker image. Based on the Docker image, you can create the Docker container. But currently, are we creating any Docker images are we are pulling the existing images are we pulling any docker images are we are pulling the existing docker images come on guys are we pulling the images are we are using the existing images we are using existing images okay we will see how to write the docker file and how to create our own images how to store into docker hub everything we will learn practically First, I'm teaching you some basics of Docker commands. All right. I'm able to pull the image and I'm able to delete the image. I'm able to display what all the images are available. How to run the image? If you have your image already, then you can run the image. Docker run image name. Docker run image name. I'm able to run the Docker image. So it is a just a, a basic hello world image I have executed docker run hello world hello from docker when i run this image what it is saying that hello from docker this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly boss you are able to run one docker image that means a docker container is created if you are able to see this hello from docker when you run hello world image that means your docker setup is working properly your docker setup is working properly can you guys please read these four points will tell you how Docker is working internally. I'm giving you one minute of time. Could you please read those four points? When I run the image, it is printing some messages on the console. Could you please read that? Could you please read that? Come on. Are you guys able to read it? Those four points will tell you how the Docker is working internally. Those four points will tell you how the Docker is working internally. Docker info is one command. It will give the information about the Docker. Docker images command will.
come on guys are you able to are you able to read those four points which i have mentioned here are you able to read the four points which are given here what you understood from those points what you understood from those points when i execute docker run command docker client contacted the docker daemon docker daemon pulled the hello world image from the docker hub the docker daemon created a new container from that image which runs the executable that produces the output you are currently reading the docker daemon streamed that output to the docker client which is sent to your terminal so whenever you execute any docker command it will talk to docker daemon docker daemon will talk to docker hub it will pull the image then it is going to create a docker container inside that container our application is going to execute inside that container our application is going to execute are you clear are you clear with this process are you clear with this process okay so daemon is nothing but a background thread which will process our docker commands daemon is a background daemon is a background process which will run our docker commands so docker run run is a command which is used to create the container whenever you run the whenever the image is available from the image you need to create a container right what we are using to create a container we will use the run command mr ram docker run is used to create a docker container based on the image docker file will be there based on the docker file they will create the docker images once the docker image is available we will run the docker image when we run the docker image we will get the docker container we will get the docker container from where we are getting the docker image from where we are downloading the docker image come on guys from where we are downloading the docker image that is a docker hub docker hub is a centralized repository where we can store and retrieve docker images what is the purpose of docker images command what is the purpose of docker images command it is used to list down all the images which we have downloaded or all the images which we have created the images which are available in our machine docker images command what is the purpose of docker pull what is the purpose of docker pull docker pull command is used to download a image from docker hub image name we need to give as a input we are able to download the docker image what is the purpose of docker rmi what is the purpose of docker rmi delete the image remove the image what is the purpose of docker run what is the purpose of docker rmi rmi is used to remove the image what is the purpose of docker run docker run is used to run the image when you run the docker image what will happen when we run the docker image what will happen when you run the docker image what will happen it will create a container what is a docker container application will execute in the docker container got it yes so are we able to run one image suppose now you may ask a question without to downloading the without to pulling can we run the image directly can we run the image without to pulling can we run the image can we run the image directly without pulling yes or no yes docker daemon docker daemon will pull it and it will run it now currently i have done the docker pull 
for a hello world. For example, let me delete it. Docker images. I have hello world image. Now let me do Docker RMI. Hello world. Docker RMI. Hello world. Unable to remove repository reference hello world. Must force container for is using its reference image. Okay. So let us see here. Docker hello world image is already running. Docker PS. Docker PS iPhone A. Now you see the Docker image is a part of this container. Docker image is part of this container. That's why we are unable to remove that image. Now let's do Docker remove container ID. Docker remove container ID. Then Docker RMI hello world. Docker RMI hello world. Now I have deleted that. Okay, guys. If you want to delete a container, if you want to delete a container, then you can use a Docker PS, then Docker RM container ID. Docker RM container ID also you can execute. Once it is done, now my Docker Hello World image got deleted. Let us check it. Docker images. Do I have Docker images in my system? Guys, do I have Docker images in my system currently? Do I have Docker images in my system? Docker images are not there in my system. Now I am going to execute that directly. I'm not pulling first. I'm directly executing Docker run hello world. Docker run hello world. You see, unable to find image locally, it is pulling from Docker hub. It is pulling from the library. So whenever you run the image by using Docker run command, first it will check in the local. Is that image already available in the local or not? If the image available in the local, it will execute directly. If the image not available in the local, it will download from the Docker hub. It will download from the Docker hub. Are you guys clear with my point? How I am able to run this Docker image without pulling? How I am able to run the image without pulling? When I run the image, first it will search in the local. If image already present in the local, it will run that. If image is not present in the local, it will pull it from the Docker library and it is going to run that image. When you execute that image, when you run the image, Docker container will create. Our application will be executed in the Docker container only. Our application will be packaged as a Docker image. That a Docker image we will store in the Docker hub. We will pull the Docker image wherever you want to execute your application. In which machine you want to execute your application, you pull the image and you run the image. You pull the image and you run the image. Then that image will create a container. Inside the container, application will be available and application dependencies also will be available. Are you comfortable with the basic commands of the Docker? Guys, I'm just explaining you very basic commands that we should know about the Docker. Still, we have not started the Docker for real time projects. For the real time project Docker, we need to know how to write a Docker file first. If you know how to write the Docker file, then only we can write the, then only we can create our own images and we can execute our applications with the help of Docker that we will learn. First, let's make our understanding clear with these basic commands of the Docker. Then I will teach you what is a Docker file, how to write the Docker file, how to build the Docker file, how to build the Docker file, based on the Docker file, how to create a Docker image, how to store the Docker image into Docker Hub, that also we will discuss. But before jumping into that main topic of the Dockerization, first we need to know what is this Docker, how to install this Docker, what is the architecture of the Docker, how Docker will execute, what is the Docker Hub, what are the basic commands everybody should know to work with the Docker. All of you comfortable with these commands? Could you please read? Could you please read? Could you please read it? Okay. 
what is the purpose of docker rm command what is the purpose of docker rm guys please respond to my questions what is the purpose of docker rm command rm is used to delete rm is used to delete the container rm is used to delete the container or to delete the image to delete the container how can we see all the containers which are running which command will give you the containers which are running docker ps command how to see all the images which you have downloaded in the local how to see all the images which we have downloaded in our local docker images command how to download a particular docker image how to download particular docker image docker pull image id okay how to delete a docker image how to delete a docker image rm or rmi rm for the container rmi for the image how to run the docker image how to run the docker image docker run image name or image id where we will store the docker images where we will store the docker images in the docker hub so how to create a docker image can we create our own docker image what is required to create our own docker image docker file what will be there in the docker file what will be there in the docker file set of commands will be available to create docker file contains instructions man mr ram always you are giving wrong answers docker file will not contain the code application code docker file contain instructions to create the image what softwares are required to create the image so we will learn what is what commands will be there in the docker file also so docker file contains instructions docker info docker images docker ps docker pull docker rmi docker run docker ps docker rm guys without pulling the image can we directly run that image without pulling the image if i directly run the image then what will happen if i directly run the docker image then what will happen without pulling the image if i run the docker image what will happen docker daemon will pull the first it will search for the docker image in the local if the image not available in the local if the image not available in the local what will happen it will pull it from the docker central are you clear suppose i want to run my own docker image so can you see i have a docker image spring boot rest api i have a docker image called spring boot rest api what is my docker image name ashok it slash spring boot rest api this is my docker image so currently check it do i have this docker image in my local do i have spring boot rest api in my local do i have spring boot rest api in my local i don't have it can i pull this docker pull my image name docker pull my image name okay let us see here docker pull what is my image name ashok it spring boot rest api spring boot rest api now see what is happening 
when i give docker pull my image name it is pulling the docker image from docker hub it is pulling the docker image from the docker hub docker images now see earlier there are only one earlier there is only one image now there are two images so that means i have pulled hello world image which is a default image i have pulled ashoka it spring boot rest api image also now there are two images available now there are two images are available are you clear can we delete that image docker rmi either you can use image name or you can use image id also now i have deleted that image after delete the delete image let us execute docker images now only one image is available if i want to pull it once again docker pull image name it is going to download the image from docker hub to my local it is going to download the docker image from docker hub to my local are you clear are you clear come on guys are you clear with this okay now i have taken this image i have taken this image docker images i have taken this image i have hello world image available i have hello world image i have spring boot rest api image can you tell me how can i run my spring boot rest api docker image can you tell me how can i run my spring boot rest api docker image what is the command you know my image name can you tell me the command to run the image can you tell me the command to run the image rmi rmi is used for running the image huh? which command i need to use to run this image now docker run so here i'm going to use docker run my image name or my image id anything is fine i'm giving my image name now you see what is going to happen when i run the docker image that is my spring boot application can you see my spring boot application is executed can you see my spring boot application is executed so that image means what what is there in that image what is there in that image what is there in that image application code available application dependencies available my application developed by using spring boot so it is a java application so to run the spring boot application we need the java software did i install java in this linux machine today today i created this linux machine did i install java i did not install java then how i am able to run my spring boot application directly who is taking care of that java installation who is taking care of the java installation docker do i need to bother about which version of java i need to install in this machine to run my spring boot application do i need to worry which version of the java i need to install who is taking care of that version issue who is taking care of that platform docker so whatever i told yesterday can you believe that practically now what is this docker docker is a platform to run our applications easily it will take care of all the dependencies which are required to run our application i have a docker image it is my spring boot rest api this project is developed by using spring boot spring boot is nothing but a java project to run the spring boot application we need java software but without installing the java software i am able to run my application by using docker that means docker is taken care of docker is taken care of java how docker understood that my application requires java how docker understood that my application requires java come on ah that i mentioned in the docker file that i mentioned in the docker file using that docker file i created a docker image the docker image i stored into docker hub now i am running the project by using docker image which is already created which is already created 
docker not only for java docker supports for all the programming languages you can use docker for python you can use docker for node js you can use docker for php you can use docker for dotnet also docker not only for java it supports other languages also are you clear with my point you understood what is the power of the docker now you understood what is the power of the docker there is one spring boot application i want to run my application when i am running my application docker is taking care of the platform to run the spring boot application java java is required java installed by the docker so tomorrow my application needs one database my application needs a database do i need to install the database i can tell to docker to install the database do i need to install the database or i can tell to docker to install the database come on guys ha ah, so now what is our duty write the code just run that code the infrastructure i mean to say the platform the softwares the dependencies will be taken care by docker docker now is this clear is this architecture is clear docker file will be there based on the docker file will create the docker image if you run the docker image docker container will be created docker container will be created now currently my application is running in the docker container so where this docker container is running where this docker container is running come on guys container is running where container is running in the docker hub ba swapna miss swapna docker container running in my linux machine image available in the docker hub you are confusing madam image available in the docker hub i downloaded that image i am running in my linux machine so where is my container running my container running in the linux machine where is this linux machine available where is this linux machine available in aws cloud okay so now how this container is running how this container is running i created one ec2 instance guys this is my aws cloud this is my aws cloud in this aws cloud i created one ec2 instance i created one ec2 linux vm i created one linux vm so ec2 instance i created ec2 instance i created in this ec2 instance i am using linux os this is my host operating system this is my linux os host operating system on top of this linux on top of this linux one docker container is running in this linux i installed docker software that means docker engine is available in this linux machine i installed docker using that docker engine i executed docker image i ran the docker image the docker image running on the docker engine is created the docker container my docker container is running my docker container is running this is what happened now i am using aws cloud now how i am running this docker container already i am having a docker hub account it is a cloud platform it is a cloud platform my image is available here my image is available in the docker hub okay so here when i do docker pull it is going to download this image my docker daemon is going to talk to this docker hub it is downloading that docker image and it is running the docker image when we run the docker image docker container will be created so now where is the docker container where is the docker container it is running in my linux machine i created one ec2 instance in the aws cloud one linux virtual machine i created in the aws cloud in that linux virtual machine i installed docker software 
Docker daemon nothing but it is a process which will execute your commands, Mr. Srikanth. Docker engine is a runtime. Using that Docker engine, I am executing my Docker container. That means I am running that. So what I am doing here first, first I have done Docker pull my image. Then after getting that image, then I am running Docker image. Docker pull image name, Docker run image name. So when I do pull, it is downloading the image from Docker hub. When I do Docker run, it is going to run my image. So image will be running in the Docker hub. Our image just will be stored in the Docker hub. Container will run in the Docker hub. Our container is running in our Linux machine. Container is running in the Docker hub. Our container is running in our Linux machine. Container is running in our Linux machine. So to create that container, we use the image. Where is that image? To run the container, we use the image. Where is that image? Image available in the Docker Hub. How I downloaded the Docker image from the Docker Hub? How I downloaded the Docker image from the Docker Hub? Docker pull. Docker pull. Guys, there is a small concept here. In the Docker container, my application is running with the port number 9090. My Spring Boot application running on the port number 9090. Now, this port number, I need to map. I need to map this port number with the host operating system port number. Okay. I am going to map my application port number with the host operating system port number. This is called port mapping. Okay. In order to access that application, we need to do this port mapping. Then only we can access the application. Okay. Application is not running in the Linux machine directly. Inside the Linux machine, we installed Docker. Using that Docker, we create a Docker container. It is kind of a OS level virtualization. Now, Docker container is running. It is one box. Inside that box, our application is running. What is our application port number? Application port number is 9090. You can see my Spring Boot application running in the Tomcat server on the port number 9090. Now, that container port, we need to map with our OS port. Then only we can access it. How to do that port mapping? Let us see. How to do that port mapping? Docker run, docker run ps. Sorry, I executed a wrong command. Docker ps. It is going to display the images. Docker ps a, all the images which are stopped also, I'm going to see. If you execute docker ps, it will display only running containers. If you want to see the images which is stopped also, you can see docker ps a. Now I want to delete that container this is the container id delete it now i want to delete the another container also i want to delete another container also i deleted now see docker ps any container is running no any container which is exited no no containers available no containers available now docker images there are images available i can remove those images also by using rmi image deleted now docker rmi i am deleting this image also everything is deleted clean clean docker images no images available docker ps no containers available docker ps a no stopped containers also everything is clean now i want to run my application along with the port mapping along with the port mapping what is my application image name? Docker run. What is the image name? Image available in Docker Hub. Copy this image name. Copy this image name and do this paste. Okay. So I think the paste is not happened properly. The paste not happened properly, guys. Uh, Docker run Ashok IT slash Spring Boot REST API iPhone P. 9090 colon 9090. This is called 
port to mapping so whenever you are running your docker containers docker container will run your application application is running on one port number and in the os we need to map to a port number os port number can be anything you can map it to 8080 or you can map it to 9090 also my application is running on which port number it will run on the port number 9090 i can map that to the same port in the os 9090 i fun p port mapping okay now run this command my image not available in the local it is downloading that image from the docker hub it is downloading that image from the docker hub it downloaded a image after downloading the image now it is running that image when it runs the image a container is created inside the container my spring boot application is executed the spring boot application is running on the port number 9090 i have done os port mapping so container is running on the 9090 port in my operating system i map it to the same port now let us go to our ec2 instance access public ip address access public ip address colon 9090 are we able to access it no the reason security group my ec2 instance is having a security group rules available inside the security group we need to enable 9090 port currently 8080 is enabled let us enable a port number 9090 to allow the traffic to access our application now i have enabled 9090 port you don't worry guys just i am showing you a demo again we are going to work on all these things we are going to create our own we are going to create our own docker images by using docker files we are going to create our own images and we are going to run those images we will store them we will work on those things so now my application is running on a docker container container is using a port number 9090 now i need to do that port mapping so i have done the port mapping then i am trying to enable i am trying to enable that 9090 port number in the inbound rules of my ec2 instance so this is my docker server in this docker server we have a security group inside the security group we are having inbound rules in the inbound rules i enabled a rule called 90 90 90 90 okay use the public ip address and 90 90 90 90 what happened here spring boot application is running on the port number 90 90 port mapping is also done do i have any name for the application application port and os port no need to be same no need to be same when we are doing this port mapping it can be anything it can be anything os port and application port no need to be same guys when we are doing the port mapping they can be different also they can be different also they no need to be same what is the port number i used docker run my image name iphone p 9090 Colon nine zero nine zero. That means what I am trying to do. I am mapping that Docker container port. I am mapping the Docker container port to my OS port. I am mapping the container port to my OS port. So whatever the port you mapped, that port we need to enable in the security group. That port we need to open in the security group. I enabled it. public ip public ip address colon 9090 slash welcome maybe i forgot the url pattern 8 months back i have created that image guys maybe i forgot what is the url pattern i have given for that forgot the url pattern what i have given in that application is running fine 
started Spring Boot REST API root web application context. Is there any context path for this application? Tomcat initialized with port number 9090. Web application context started. Context path is empty. Public IP. Docker server, security, security group name, inbound rules, delete it. Let's add it once again. Custom TCP, 9090, save the rule. One second docker run hyphen d image name hyphen p okay one second guys i think port mapping i need to do first docker run hyphen p 9090 colon 9090 space image name now i am running Application started. Let's try to access. Now it is working fine. Welcome. Welcome. Now I'm able to access the application. Maybe I might have given some URL pattern inside this application. So by using this, we are able to access our Spring Boot application. By, by using this, we are able to access Spring Boot application welcome slash Raju. Now see Raju, welcome to Ashokite. So this is the URL pattern it is expecting. I need to give slash welcome slash Raju. If you give the name as some Rani, it will give the message as Rani welcome to Ashoka IT. So if you click, if you access this URL, if you click this URL, you will also get the response. Where is my application running? In the Docker container. Okay. Are you guys able to access this application now? Are you guys able to access this application now? So how I have executed this application? How I'm able to execute? You see here, my application is having logging also. You guys are accessing the application, my logs are printing. When you are accessing my application, my application is printing some log files. My application is running in the Docker container. Docker container is running in the Linux machine. So I have done port mapping. So how I have done this port mapping, I have used a command called docker run-p 9090 colon 9090 space Ashoka IT slash spring boot iPhone rest API. So this is the image I am using. This is my image I am using. I am running. My application using port number 9090 I have done the OS port also to the 9090. I enabled that port in the security group and I'm able to access. Instead of Rani, you can give any name also. If I give Mahesh, now I'm getting Mahesh. Welcome to Ashoka IT. So this is a sample demo that I have shown you to run our application. Okay, guys. So execute Spring Boot application using Docker image. Run spring boot application using docker image i am giving you my image guys my image is a public image only you guys also can pull my image directly after installing what you can do docker run iphone p 9090 colon 9090 slash ashoka it slash spring iphone boot iphone api that is my image name after running this image, after running this image, enable 9090 port in EC2, EC2 instance security group, EC2 instance security group, URL to access. So what is the URL? HTTP colon double slash EC2 VM public IP, public IP colon 
నైన్ జీరో నైన్ జీరో స్లాష్ వెల్కమ్ స్లాష్ సమ్ నేమ్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ యాక్సెస్ దిస్ దెన్ యూ విల్ బి ఏబుల్ టు యాక్సెస్ మై అప్లికేషన్ ఇఫ్ యూ రన్ దిస్ యూ విల్ బి ఏబుల్ టు యాక్సెస్ మై అప్లికేషన్ కెన్ యూ గైస్ ప్రాక్టీస్ దిస్ అప్ టు నౌ వాట్ ఎవర్ వి డిస్కస్డ్ బిఫోర్ కమింగ్ టు టుమారో సెషన్ can you guys practice up to this whatever we discussed today today we discussed about how to install docker in linux machine these are the commands i have given to install the docker in the linux machine once you have installed then we are going to use some basic docker commands ps command images command pull command rmi run all these things then we are going to see how to run one docker by using hello world okay guys now so how we are going to execute that command run docker run docker container using hello world image run docker container using hello world image hello world image that is a default image that is available for public access anybody can access that image how can we run it docker run hello world that's it it is going to run the docker image now i have my image in the docker hub this is my image name you can run my image this is a spring boot application this is a spring boot application which i have stored in the docker hub a spring boot application which i have stored in the docker hub right you can use my image and you can execute it so whenever you are executing my application whenever you are executing my application that port mapping is important guys my application is running on the port number 9090 so you need to do the mapping for that port in the os also for time being give the same port number but no need to be same they can be different also but i am giving the same port number when your application is mapped to 9090 os port then we need to enable that port in the security group once it is enabled you can access your application like this is this clear for everyone can you practice this before coming to tomorrow session yesterday's class video also available okay guys so please practice this before coming to tomorrow session tomorrow we will learn some more commands in the docker then we will start understanding how to write our own docker file okay thank you